Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And we've done this video before. This is going to be the pre-flight on a four-place Grumman, but we did it in a dark hangar, and now we're in a much more illuminated hangar, so we're going to redo it again for the world. And we're going to be doing it by the book. So, step number one is the cabin on the pre-flight. Canopy open. I'd like to thank Shop Monkey for, for being my... Uh, Shop monkey today. <laughs> Control wheel lock remove. Ignition switch off. Master switch off. Mixture at idle cutoff. Okay, left wing leading uh, trailing edge flap secure and undamaged. Flap. Flap. Alright. Yep, yeah, flap. Okay. Secure, right? Uh, aileron, freedom of movement. Okay. Left wing, wing tip and nav light, undamaged. Aileron counterweight access, unobstructed. Now I'm going to come down here and just shoot that real quick. Wing inspection plates secure on bottom of wing. Uh, tie down removed. Tie down is removed. Uh, pitot tube unobstructed. Okay. And fuel tank vent unobstructed. Alrighty. Left wing leading edge. Fuel tank. Fuel cap seal checked for damage. Cap secure. Tank drain free of water and sediment drain source. Pause. Uh, we'll skip that. We're inside. Uh, same thing on the sump drain at the wing root. We're not going to be actually draining any fluid out, but because um, this is an indoor bird. Uh, the fuel is the proper color. It was blue when we opened the fuel cap. And finally, the landing gear, fairing, and tire undamaged, tire properly inflated. Okay. And then chocks removed. All right, chalk removed. Okay, left cowling, windshield, clean and undamaged. By the way, this airplane's always been hangered its entire life. This is original 1979 glass in this uh, Tiger. Um, OAT gauge, which we don't have sticking out the windshield anymore because we have a JPI system. And our OAT gauge is on the access panel and the left wing route out of the, uh, out of the heat from the engine stream. Fuel pump overflow drain, unobstructed. And there that is. Fresh air vents, unobstructed. Okay. Uh, air cleaner drain does not apply to this aircraft. It's been modified. An oil breather vent, unobstructed. And not on this side. Yeah, it's right there in the back, all the way by the boot. This is a slightly different... Uh, this Tiger is slightly different than your stock Tiger because we have a, a six-cylinder engine in it. I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's back there. Right. I see it every year at annual. Okay, cowling open and secured. Oh, look, we have two extra cylinders on this airplane. Um, yeah, we've got his. Yep, baffles secured and undamaged. Okay. No, that's, that's from Ken Blackman's material. Uh, let's see, landing light, secure and undamaged. Nose gear and fairing, undamaged. Tire properly inflated, mud scraper clear. Okay, the tow bar is not on the nose wheel. If it was, we would remove it and stow it. Chocks removed, so done. And engine cooling openings unobstructed. Okay, right cowling, open. Shall we close it? Uh, we'll come back and close everything up when we're done. Put the chocks and all back, so. 
when Gene sees the video, goes, you used my airplane? <laughs> yes, we wanted a really nice one, Gene. Okay, cowling secured and undamaged. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, wrong line. Uh, engine baffles uh, unobstructed, undamaged. Carburetor air duct unobstructed. On this aircraft, the carburetor air duct is over here on the outside of the aircraft. On a normal Tiger, it would be back here where the 14 row oil cooler is. Uh, oil engine level, six quarts minimum. We've got to come around on the other side. This is a six cylinder, so the oil is on the top of the engine. On a normal Tiger, it would be behind the cylinder number three. Oil dipstick, finger tight. You don't need, to, and that's a, that's not a finger tight turn one. Uh, the battery on this aircraft has been relocated aft. It would normally sit right here where the oil filter is. Vacuum pump vent unobstructed. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It, it's back it's, there. It's there. <laughs> it's right there. Um, alternator belt, proper tension. Good luck reaching. Yeah, well, that's what the extra cylinder does for you. Good. Okay. Uh, baffles are secure and undamaged, and then cowl latched, secure flush with service. Let's go ahead and close the whole cowling up. Uh, do not know. You shouldn't, because we adjusted it last year in annual. And this is not an obstruction. This is your prop governor sitting right here. And believe it or not, it does not obstruct the airflow. The intakes on the Tiger are really too big for, we need, we need larger exits. Oh, let's see, right tank, fuel tank, uh, cap sealed, check for damage, cap secured. Okay, tank, and then the fuel color, we're gonna skip down two lines. Blue. Blue. Okay, tank drain and sump drain, which we're not going to drain, but sump drain, tank drain. Thank you, Matt. Landing gear, fairing and tire, undamaged tire, properly inflated. Chalk removed. Yeah, let's check all the wing inspection plates underneath. We're skipping down the list a little bit, but we want to work our way out to the wing tip. And we'll do the fuel tank vent too while we're here. Okay, uh, wing tip and nav light secure and undamaged. Okay, aileron counterweight unobstructed. And tie down removed. Okay, aileron freedom of movement and secure. And flap undamaged and secure. Okay, now we move to the empennage elevator freedom of movement. Rudder freedom of movement. Okay, rudder trim tab secure. Tail cone and tail light, secure and undamaged. And the tie down removed. Okay. Left side of fuselage, static source, unobstructed. Fuselage, undamaged. And baggage door, secure. Well, <laughs> we would have to, well, it's on a battery tender for the uh, 36 amp hour battery. If we're doing a night flight, we're going to do the pre-flight of Fusic and Circuit Breakers to check them. Uh, we don't have any fuses in this bird. We've converted everything, right? No, we have fuses. Oh, we have fuses? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do we have spares in the glove box? We don't have a glove box, but we have spares over here. Okay. Um, flashlight? No flashlight. No flashlight. 
and required charts. We're not going to fly today, so we didn't bring our charts with us. Okay, in the electrical system pre-flight, cabin master switch on. Instrument lights check. We have instrument lights. Map light and dome light. Map light. And the map light. Perfect. Navigation lights on. We have a white on the tail. We have a red. And we have a green. And we I saw a strobe go off. Landing light. Oh, landing light. Okay. Pedo heat on. And Matt's turned the pedo heat on. I'm going to grab it. You grab it right when it first starts. Do not turn it on, walk around for a few minutes to come and grab it. You will burn your hand. It's getting warm. And the reason why you want to do that is you could be drawing current, but if there's a short, you could be heating up something else. Uh, flashing beacon. Flashing beacon, flashing, strobe lights. Okay. Stall warning vane. Almost done down the list. Okay, master cabin off. Nav lights off, which went off with the master, by the way. Flashing beacon off, strobe lights off, pedo heat off, landing light off. And this completes the by the book of the Tiger 1979, a pre flight uh, on a four place airplane. So we'd like to thank you for watching Grumman and Paula's YouTube channel. Hope you found this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.